Everybody, Jenny here. I just wanted to share with you another great tool for collaborating and engaging students online or in the classroom. So this is we're going to actually be talking about Jamboard today. So how do you get to Jamboard? Well, if you're logged into your Google account, you want to go over to the little waffle next to your name and you want to go down to Jamboard. It's right here, Jamboard, and you want to click on it. Now, Jamboard is a space in which students and teachers can collaborate on a document together. Um, this can be a really cool tool to use because it's very visual. Um, you can use it when you're teaching students in class. You can allow them to collaborate with it. You can also um, have students work on projects in this kind of a format. One thing when a lot of people click on Jamboard, one of the things I've noticed is that sometimes they don't know where to add a new Jamboard. And it's actually down here in the right-hand corner. You just hit plus for a new Jamboard. You can name your Jamboard right up here, um, whatever you'd like. So I jam two. <laughs> And over here on the left-hand side, you can see you have a lot of different tools that you can use on your Jamboard space. So you can use a pen to write. You can erase it here if you don't like what you wrote. Um, you have a tool where you can select or point. This is one of my favorites. It is the post-it note, so you can change it any color as you like. And you can use a post-it note. This is something I encourage my students to use because it's very visual. Um, so you can use that. As you can see, when you do the post-it note, they can go in and they can delete it, duplicate it, they can edit it, or you can edit it. You can make it as big or small as you like. Uh, you can also bring in a picture. So you might want to bring in a picture from the internet to add to it. So Harry Potter, we could bring in a picture of Harry Potter, right? So maybe somebody reading the book. So I can import that right there. And you can also draw on this. Now, I actually like to do a lot of things like Venn diagrams with my students in here. And I can bring in another one. And, oh gosh, make a Venn diagram. Sorry, it's a pretty bad Venn diagram. But I could go in here and make this uh, transparent. So. Students could put in their feedback on something we were doing. Giving, You could go in here and type a question to your students. Um, you can also use this as like a laser to highlight or point something you want students to see. You can also go up in here and add different ones. You can add backgrounds here. If you want different backgrounds, if maybe you are a, um, a math teacher and you want to put in a grid or you want to put in a notebook, if you're working with teacher with students on their uh, handwriting, you can clear it all here. One thing I would encourage you to do, though, is if you are teaching with it and you don't want students to be writing on it while you're teaching, is I usually go into the shared and when I'm teaching on it, I make the link I share with my students view only. That way they can be watching me and I can be adding or drawing on it. When I want to change it to editors so they can also edit, on, edit it, sometimes I'll do this while I'm teaching and then I just ask the students to refresh the link and they can come up and then they can start to edit. Sometimes you want to be careful. This is a lot of fun and if you don't want students writing on it when you're talking, it's a good idea to start in view mode. I also would suggest that setting some parameters on what is uh, appropriate for school and what kind of pictures and things can be added is important. That is the reason why some teachers kind of hesitate to use Jamboard because um, students have a lot of access to maybe do something not appropriate. But please don't let that hold you back because it's a really cool tool and you just kind of need to feel out how to work best, how it's going to work best with your students. So you can see here, um, I'm reading The Outsiders with my students, and we had everybody post to a question, and we were doing it all at the same time, and it was really cool. They were going in with their posted notes and giving their thoughts about the question that I posed. As you can see, I have another one in here 
where we, I did a lesson and then I allowed students to post their thoughts after I kind of talked about a certain topic. So I went in and uh, let's see, I, I asked some questions and then students, I kind of talked about um, a character in our story and the students were able to post um, their thoughts or tell us a little bit about that. So this is Jamboard. It is a lot of fun. Definitely give it a try. Um, and I hope that you found this enjoyable. So good luck, everybody, and talk to you later.